Hello, I'm Dr. David Green, CEO of the California Pain Network, where we bring you anything and everything educational for pain management. Today the topic is, what are the three different kinds of epidural steroid injections? Well, for over 60 years, epidural injections have been a mainstay in pain management. And the reason is because they work very well. Over 75% of the time, dozens of studies show that epidural steroid injections are great at relieving the pain from pinched nerves, such as with sciatica, spinal stenosis, and other conditions for pain. So in the 1960s, so about 60 years ago almost, epidural injections were first invented. And the first type is called an interlaminar epidural injection. So here's a model of the spine and we're looking at it from behind. So these are the bony prominences you can feel on your back called the spinous processes. Okay. And these areas on the side are called the lamina. It's this bone. All right. And these yellow things are nerve roots as they come out from the spine at every level. Okay. So between one lamina and the next is where pain doctors, orthopedic doctors would put the needle through this soft tissue here. And that's called an interlaminar injection. And they used to feel blindly, and as the pressure was released, they knew they were through that soft tissue, and they would inject numbing medicine and some steroid, okay? And for decades, that's how it was done. And what studies ended up showing is that, although oftentimes they were in the right place, 40% of the time, those injections were misplaced. So it is very important that modern pain management doctors use what is called fluoroscopy, which is a real-time form of x-ray, okay? And with that, the accuracy of those injections has gone up tremendously, and maybe with ultrasound, you know, either one, and the injections have gotten better, you know? So between 75 and 90% of the time, they're very effective for pinched nerve pain, okay? Now, in the last decade, a second type of epidural injection has been discovered, invented, and that's called a transforaminal epidural injection. Okay? So as initially what we were talking about, the interlamina goes right between these two bones. The second type, transforaminal, is different. Now, what you can see here is this red area. That's indicative of a herniated disc that is pinching on this nerve root. Well, this nerve root comes out this hole here called a foramina. So around the spinal cord you have the epidural space. The nerve roots come off out here called the foramina. So this injection goes transforaminal. So into the area where the nerve root is coming out from the spine. So it puts the steroid medication much closer to the area where it's being pinched. Okay? And it, studies have shown that they work slightly better than an interlaminar injection. So a lot of pain doctors, a lot of modern pain doctors will do that for the lumbar spine. For the neck, not so much. There's some risks involved there. So most for the neck just use an interlaminar, okay? So that's the second type. The third type is very different and it's actually placed much lower. So you have the lumbar spine, then you have the sacrum, which is the lowest, lowest part of the spine. And then you have this opening here called the sacral hiatus. So a caudal, C-A-U-D-A-L epidural injection goes through this opening here. And you might think, why would you put it so low? Well, here's the theory and reality. You put the needle here through the sacral hiatus, you put a larger volume of steroid and numbing medicine in, and it migrates up to multiple levels of the lumbar spine. Now, why would you need multiple levels covered? Aren't you just talking about one level? Oh no. If you just have one herniated disc and it pinches on one nerve root, absolutely. What if you have spinal stenosis? which is where arthritis overgrows a lot of levels of the spine, you might have three different nerve roots being pinched. You know, you may have one on this side, one on this side, another one up at this level. A, and a caudal epidural injection can potentially reach all three of those levels and give pain relief with just one injection. That's the benefit of a caudal epidural, and that's why it's commonly used. The results of epidural steroid injections, as I mentioned, have been between 75 and 90% effective. You can get a series of about three or about four to six weeks, and then you can have another one months later. So if the pain is resolved and it comes back, that can work really well. The risks of epidural injections are extremely low, less than 1% chance of infection, nerve injury, 
uh, possibly a transient increase in blood sugars. Okay, so they're very safe injections. Now, in California, the California Pain Network, we work with over 20 doctors in over 20 locations throughout Southern California, all the way from Bakersfield, Fresno, down to San Diego, and into the Inland Empire, all the way to Palm Springs. So we have a plethora of doctors. All of them offer medication management as well as interventional pain treatments such as the epidural injections, okay? They take all PPOs, Medicare, uh, self-pay, and some HMOs. Personal injury liens, workman's compensation, good to go there. So check us out on the internet at painmanagementlosangeles.com. There are other websites as well, painmanagementorangecountyca.com, painmanagementsandiego.com, as well as painmanagementinlandempire.com or give us a call at the number listed on the screen. I'm Dr. David Green with the California Pain Network. Your pain stops here. <laughs>